So when we receive a swab, the first thing we do is we take out the buffer that the swab has been kept in, uh, and that's within the swab tube. Um, and we use that buffer which the, the virus is contained in the buffer. Um, and we, we take that buffer and we get the RNA from the virus out of the virus within the buffer. So what we're doing is essentially is we're trying to get the genetic code of the virus from the sample. Um, and then we're applying that genetic code to these machines and to different methodologies of testing to show uh, whether or not that genetic code is present in the sample. So if I have genetic code of the virus in my sample, then I know that the person has the virus. <clears throat> it depends on the test and depends on how many I'm running for that day. Um, since we do batch them in like a group of samples, um, so the, the testing can increase in time. But as far as extracting the genetic code, that uh, initially takes around two hours. Um, and then after that, we have to plate it. It takes about an hour. And then we throw it on the machine, and that takes about an hour. And then we have a data analysis that takes about an hour, an hour and a half. So overall, it's about five and a half hours. Um, but we can do multiple samples at once. Um, right now, we're reporting out between 48 and 72 hours um, for the patient. That's not from collect. That's from lab receipt. So um, it all depends on shipping. So like FedEx can be behind, and it can take days. Um, so collection to result is a very difficult number for a lab to to determine because there there's many hands it goes through before it's actually in the lab. So I would say from lab receipt to result. 48 to 72 hours is our current turnaround time.